you had told me like three years ago that I'd be really passionate and interested in sharing videos about gardening and food forests, I would have told you that you're crazy. Permaculture isn't gardening. Permaculture is a framework, a toolkit of, of changing the way you think about the world and the way you interact with it in a way that's creating the future that we want. My name is Byron and I love making short videos about food forests and sharing that passion and enthusiasm. This is Backyard Paradise and it's becoming a demonstration site for what's possible in the realm of growing food and creating regenerative ecosystems. And the interesting thing is that 20 years ago this was all kiwi fruit. The previous owner came and just bulldozed all the kiwi fruit and started planting mixed fruit orchard. Yeah, so that's kind of what we're looking at is mixed diversity and, and it's all certified organic. What an amazing thing to kind of inherit provided this beautiful template to see, all right, cool, how can we take these orchard ecosystems and turn them into even more rich ecosystems that are biodiverse and even more resilient? And how can we create a template for how to do that? Because there's so many orchards out there that are hardly ecosystems. Oh, where's yours? One thing I'm practicing and exploring is rotational grazing of the pigs. And so basically just using this fence and really pulsing them through the landscape in the way that mammals were naturally moving through a landscape prehistorically. Now to find your girlfriend, where's she gone off to? It helps with all sorts of things from weed suppression below the trees to they fertilize like crazy. They eat fruit that's on the ground that would otherwise be rotting and inviting insects and pests as a breeding ground. They're kind of eliminating that. Yeah, and they're just a joy to have around. Three months ago, this was just all grass. I've planted things in a way that things are gonna be chopped down, add to the forest floor, the roots are gonna decompose and build soil that way. A landscape unfolds in a way that's regenerating what was just grassland into this productive ecosystem of food and nourishment for people. Imagine 10 years from now, a lot of these trees are very, very tall, sky high, and it's this dense thing, and these rows have gone from narrow rows, they've expanded outwards. I went to school for environmental science, um, and the funny thing is they don't teach you at all about any solutions in environmental science degrees, they teach you about all the problems in the world, and it's just like super overwhelming because you're hearing nonstop about like, oh, there's climate change, and oh, there's these issues and these issues, but there's never any talk about what we can do to move forward. That was kind of the angle that brought me in like to this really deep passion for this stuff, is how do you make a better world? Oh transform landscapes. What's the majority of the landscape is food production, but if you look on either side of us, it's dairy and then it's conventional horticulture and it's just uninspiring, it's boring. It's created these deserts out of what used to be this beautiful, lush, temperate rainforest here. There's so many landscapes that have just been demolished in pursuit of growing food for people. And if we can figure out a way to grow food for people in a way that is beneficial to the environment and even more beneficial to the people than the traditional way of doing things, then I think this is a great learning opportunity. What I feel like I'm doing here is I'm creating a variety of impacts to make a better future. I'm dialing in on techniques, I'm learning the processes, and I'm sharing, I'm documenting this whole journey on videos, on social media. I quit my job today. <laughs> I quit my job today, I put my four weeks notice in. And on March 5th, I'll be full-time um, self-employed doing the permaculture thing, and I'm so excited about it. If you think you have a compelling message, you need to be putting that out there with the tools that we have today to be able to leverage social media, which is often demonized, to be able to leverage that for better, to create a beautiful future, to be, create beautiful communities, to create beautiful food forests and gardens, to create a beautiful life, whether you're passionate about one thing or another, to have that ability to share and to, to empower other people to follow what they're interested in and what they care about, that's real.
So there's lots of statistics around what plastic packaging is doing to our environment, how much ends up in the sea, how much ends up in landfill that will never break down. I do believe that we are part of a change. It's about getting the masses on board with being just more aware of the changes that they can make.